Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 20 of Less FIFA 14 and this is an extended episode so that means we got 12 to 13 minutes of Less FIFA 14 and we'll be playing a bunch of games, building a new squad and there might be a few awesome goals along the way as well. So uh, that is pretty much everything that is going to happen so sit back, relax and enjoy and we'll get into the gameplay. So we're playing in Division 3 and we're playing with the Premier League squad we built in yesterday's episode and this game was really really fun to play with. Uh, I like the Bentner he was one of the players before I built the squad I was a little bit nervous about trying out because he's not my typical kind of player to use because he only got those three star skill moves and at the same time he's not the fastest player but to be honest he's amazing to play with and that's something I really do enjoy about his strength and despite not being fast he's able to hold off defenders and you can really feel it this year you can get a lot of a lot out of players that are just big and strong and uh, yeah this was overall a really fun game to play I make it 1-0 with Bentner and uh, I get another chance here. I had hoped for a bicycle kick from Tirap but nonetheless will pick the ball up again. A ball will drag back past the defender and a finesse shot into the bottom corner to make it 2-0. And at half time I was leading and I had most of the chances and the possession but into the second half my opponent will get a bag into the game to make it 2-1 but I will still hold on to the lead and win the game 2-1 in the end and I didn't really create anything interesting in the second half at least not skill wise so uh, we win the game 2 to one we get three more points and it's looking really good in the division sitting on 16 points and we have three games left so basically I'll just need a win in order to promote I only need two points for the promotion and five points if I want to pick up the title so I was quite confident having those three games in hand like I would promote it from the division and we head on into our next game and we come up against a, a strong Premier League squad and Saho he misses the clearance and Rooney will have an easy time breaking through and making it 1-0 but I'll get back into the game with a 1-2 pass there between Moreno and Jackson Martinez and we get the equalizer and then it was into the second half before I started creating chances once again and I'll get a quite a bit of luck here I go with the dummy I managed to uh, tackle my way back onto the ball and I make it 2-1 but it wouldn't last for too long one of my players had been injured or uh, fell to the ground so uh, Eto wasn't offside he would break through and I were not able to pick up the ball from him and he would have an easy time getting a goal there and make it 2-2 but straight from kickoff I get on the ball with Jackson Martinez I get a bit of luck once again and I'll go past David Luiz here cross it in and I'll get a bag into the lead and not exactly the most beautiful goal there but it wins me the game and Moreno he completes his hat trick and when you look at the full time stats the game could have gone both ways like if I had lost the game I wouldn't have been too disappointed because he was a good opponent and it could have ended as a draw as well but I was lucky in the end to go away with the win and that meant I secured promotion and uh, now I had two games left in order to try and pick up the title of the division as well so uh, a win would do it or two draws so we head on into the next Next game and uh, it's Jackson Martinez creating my first chance uh, in the game a proper chance it was not before the end of the first half I really got my chances going and here we try out a shot but it is blocked and a header there is easily saved by check in the net but we kept on the chances here just before halftime Jackson Martinez breaking through making his way into the box we try out the shot but once again it is saved by his keeper and one final chance before halftime Jackson Martinez again on the ball I tried out for a volley wanted to see it go into the top corner but uh, it would go way wide and at half time he didn't really create anything I had a few chances which you just saw and that was pretty much it but into the second half he gets one chance and he will make it one he'll get into the lead and I was just come on why I, like why I'm not in the lead I had at least a few more chances than him but I'll keep on the pressure straight from kickoff and from that I pick up a corner and I'll cross it in using the corner set piece and it's Moreno to head it in and get me back into the game and that was pretty much it because for the remaining minutes of the second half I didn't create anything he created a few more chances but in the end it would end as a draw I would get one point and I basically have one game left in order to get one point so a draw or win would do it in order to uh, to pick up the title of the division and we head on into the game and we come up against a very strong uh, La Liga side there and it's me creating the first chance here in the beginning of the game finding Christian Eriksen we cut inside I try out the shot there with his 5 star weak foot and it goes out for a corner and from the corner I would pick up the ball outside the box and it's a uh, corner trying out a shot and it goes in to make it 1-0 and at half time yeah not much stuff going on I had my two chances as you saw and he had nothing but he would break through just before 
before the game was about to end and somehow pick up a penalty. He was trying to take the shot and I don't really feel it was a penalty, but nonetheless he would get it and convert it to make it 1-1. And I tried to get on to the winning streak uh, with Terraptia breaking through, but I would not hit the target. And in the end, we draw another game 1-1. One one. But it didn't really matter too much. I won the title, I got the 21 points, and that means I get the maximum amount of coins I could from the division. And then I felt I wanted to build a new squad. So, um... Uh, I went to the substitution squad and sent most of the players to the trade pile apart from Louis and the 5 star skillers and uh, then I headed on out to build a new squad after some of the players had sold on. I was sitting on uh, 32,000 coins and uh, I felt uh, I wanted to build a squad for the new tournament. I can't exactly remember the name but basically what you need is to have 4 leagues represented in your squad in order to participate in the tournament. So I went with a bit of a Liga do Brasil attack. Uh, I went for a strong striker uh, and a fast striker just as I had in the Premier League squad so I went with Pato and uh uh, Leandro Damio uh, for the attack, uh, blinking up nicely together there and then we went uh, with uh, David Villa for the left mid, uh, I wanted to try him out again because he was amazing on FIFA 13 and he was one of the players I really wanted to try out so we picked him up and a few more Atletico Madrid players uh, to link up with him and um, that was pretty much how the squad was going to be, a mix of Brazilian and a French players pretty much overall and then we had David Villa into the side as well so uh, not the most creative squad but it is actually quite fun to play with and we have a bit of gameplay with the side in this uh, in the end of this episode we pick up a position modifier there from David Villa and we apply uh, a chemistry style sniper chemistry style to Ben Arfa and all the players I picked up for the squad I tried to pick them up with a chemistry style because that was something I felt worked out really well when I built the Premier League squad all of them having a specific chemistry styles on them made them play really really well so that was kind of the thing I went for when building this squad as well and we picked up a French manager and applied a Liga do Brasil league to him so we'll get a few more players on the 10 chemistry and getting the most out of the chemistry styles and uh, a few players start on the 10 chemistry it is Miranda and uh, David Villa but apart from that this squad is looking quite good in gold we have Louis not much to say about him used him in a bunch of squads and he's doing quite well we have Yanga and Beaver as I said back and he's there to link up uh, with Ben Arthur and uh, he uh, got the anchor chemistry style on him another center back is Miranda 6 foot 1 is 76 pace 80 defending 83 heading and the anchor chemistry style on him as well improving his pace defending and heading stats so that is the two center backs on the left back we have Felipe Luis and uh, he got uh, some all on good stats the sentinel chemistry style on him improving his defending and heading stats he got high attacking work rate and uh, he pushes up quite a bit um, uh, when going on the attack and uh, you know me I prefer the a little, a little bit more defensive uh, right backs and left backs but nonetheless I have, I do like uh, Philippe Luis quite a bit on the game and on the right back we do have Congo there uh, again with the sentinel chemistry style and four star weak foot some quite good stats on him center defense mid we do have a uh, Gulavugu, I'm not quite sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but he's quite tall, got uh, decent pace defending, heading and passing stats on him, and uh, we applied the Sentinel uh, chemistry style on him to improve his heading and defending stats. Then we do have Ben Arthur, used him in uh, in the past squads I uh, used as well, and uh, we applied the sniper chemistry style to improve his shooting and dribbling, especially when cutting in on that left foot, it's quite nice to have a boost to the shooting, and on the left mid we do have a David Villa, no longer with the 5 star weak foot which he had last year, but still looking quite good I'm a little bit disappointed that he isn't a striker which I really thought he would be but uh, hopefully when he gets an inform you'll get it as a striker because he will be an amazing striker on the game but on the left mid he's playing amazing as well which you'll see here towards the end of this episode on the center attack mid, we do have Alex, another 5 star skiller, he got 4 star weak foot and we applied the Maestro chemistry style to him and uh, he looks to be a quite interesting player. Then we do have uh, Leandro Damio and uh, he looks very very good, uh, he got decent pace, good heading, he's big, he's strong, he got 4 star uh, skills, I believe last year he had uh, 3 star skills and that was one of the reasons I never got around to try him out, but he is uh, he's a little bit like Benna just with 4 star skills and he's quite uh, fun to play with and alongside him we do have Alexander Pato with the pace and I did sell him on in yesterday's episode I didn't really know I was going to use him again but uh, I 
actually think this kind of strong and fast partnership with strikers works out really well uh, both in the Premier League squad and in this squad and uh, we'll be playing with this side in the European uh, Classic Tournament and uh, we couldn't really play with uh, our Premier League side to get the fitness up of the players we just picked up because Terapti was injured so I applied a fitness card to uh, Pato and then I headed on into the new tournament and we come up against the side here with the Ru Russian League, uh, the Greek League, I believe the Bundesliga and I can't remember what the last league, I believe it was Liga BBVA or La Liga uh, and uh, I get an early goal there with Alexander Panto to make it 1-0 I keep on the pressure, I pick the ball up with Panto, a ball will pass the keeper and we do make it a 2-0 so looking quite good and we keep on the chances and this is where I got really really happy about the gameplay, I found David Villa and we go with a first time volley right into the top corner and that reminded me so much of FIFA 13. I scored a similar goal with David Villa in FIFA 13. A first time volley from about the same range into the top corner and David Villa just continued on with his volleys. He makes it a 4-0 here and yeah his shots, his shots on this game is just unreal and he's so much fun to play with and we do make it a 4-0 and we get a one final chance in the game. Flicks it off, 4 by still kick there but it is saved and in the end we win the game a 4-0 sitting on most of the chances and that was just a really good game to start off with the squad. Uh, David Villa getting a few nice goals there uh, towards uh, the end of the first half and in the beginning of the second half. And then we head on into another game and we come up against a Brazilian side there uh, in the quarterfinals of the tournament. And it's uh, um, Damio on the ball here and he takes the shot from distance and it goes out for a corner. And we use our corner set piece to get a goal and make it 1-0. So a very good start to the game. But apart from that, it was into the second half that it started creating chances again. Alexander Pato breaking through. We try to chip the key, but we get a bicycle kick in. But it goes over the goal. And a few minutes later, it's Pato on the ball. He flicks it up with the rainbow flick. A little sideways volley and he will get a goal there. Lovely goal to make it 2-0 and after that my opponent he had enough he decided to rage quit and that will pretty much be the end of the episode guys I hope uh, you enjoyed this extended episode we got a few nice goals I think uh, this last one was quite nice and the one with David Villa I did enjoy that quite a bit as well but uh, yeah that would pretty much be the end of the episode we'll continue in tomorrow's episode and they will uh, try and uh, play some more in this tournament maybe get into the gold cup as well and that is uh, pretty much all thank you for watching and I will talk Talk to you later.